One of the cool things that the F79 allows us to do is blueprint a block. Okay. And if you don't know, you've heard of, of people saying balanced and blueprinted yep. engines. Yep. So from the factory, um, you would think that these, all the bores, the cylinders, are in line with each other. They're not. Okay. One of the, the worst things I've seen on a Cummins, for sure, is upwards of 20 thousandths. Really? Out of round, not, not in line. So blueprinting allows us to actually put the cylinders in line with the crankshaft. And I'm gonna show you how we do that. All right. But Dylan's gonna start prepping this block to be able to put what we call our, our center line. Basically, we have a bar that we make, which we'll show you, that we put in here, but we're gonna prep the mains and prep the bottom end of this to put it together so that we can start the blueprinting process. First thing we do is we wanna do a quick check of the cam bore. Make sure that the cam bore isn't screwed up. It looks good, perfect. And it doesn't take too long to check it. If there's something bad, it'll jump right out at you. These pan rails because when we go into the machine. It sits on the pan rails in the machine. So if there's any, any ding, burn, anything that, ding, yeah, yeah. Anything that adds material, it's gonna sit just not Locking. right in there. So we just do this, kind of check those high spots. And so these pan rails are good. Now we just do it again, right on top of the main cap sit. We're not trying to file any material off or anything like that. No, All we're, we're not. trying to do just is just, just, spit the, uh, just sit in the machine. Yeah, good. yeah, okay. Yep. So then we just, now we add our chamfer on the mains. After that, take our little scraper, this little eight quarter inch piece is carbide. And we take it on the number two and the number six mains, and we just scrape them. Make sure there's no burrs, things, high spots, just like the pan rails. Because we put an alignment bar that sits on these mains, so we want to make sure it's nice and flat for us. Make sure that's in there nice and good. And it is. So when that's sitting in there, I grab the number two and the number six main caps. That's number six. Put a little chamfer on these as well. And you always do that with the, the caps that came with that block. Yes, yes, the caps with the block. Stay with the block. I'm going to get it in here. All right, so now that we've got it leveled this way, now what, we're really, what we really care about is that we're going to make the deck parallel with the crankshaft. So that's why we have that bar down in there, is we're gonna measure on number five and number one, and the reason for number five is because the table pivot point is right under number five. So we're gonna get the both ends of the table, and we're gonna make the, the bar that we put down in there is gonna be our home, our level. And that's what we want everything to, to be based off that crankshaft bar. So not only are we gonna do the, the cylinders that way, but we're gonna do the deck as well as gonna be parallel to that crankshaft or the bar that we put in there.